Hello and welcome back to How to Zenotic. I'm Emmett Craven and today we're going to be going over the basic movement in this game. Zenotic has a very fancy movement scheme. You can move around a map quite efficiently if you're able to learn the way that the game works. But if you don't know how to do the basic tricks you're going to be moving a lot slower than your opponents and probably getting caught out a lot. So today we're going to be going over how you can get from very basic just running around the map without using any of these techniques to flying around at the speed of sound. So we're going to start over here with just a straight run all the way down to there. I'm just going to run forwards and hold jump and as you can see my speed is increasing. Uh, you can see that by the little yellow bar and the number next to it. So my speed as I just run and hold jump increases. If I am to strafe run by holding left and right directions and looking left and right, then I gain even more speed, ending up at around 100 to 200 more speed when I hit this back wall. If I'm to circle jump to start off with, then I start with much more speed. So whereas if I'm just doing this, I'm going to get to 700. If I'm coming back, and I circle jump to start, I gain about 50 more speed, I'm not great at circle jumping. But all of these techniques can allow you to clear bigger gaps. This gap you can clear by just jumping across, but this gap up here, which requires a bounce jump off of this ramp, you can't clear it just by jumping straight across. But with a little circle jump, you can easily make it across to here, saving you either walking round here and jumping up here, or having to go up here and do a little trick jump up there. Or having to even go all the way around underneath the very long way if you can't do any of these tricks. Is to come down here, go up this teleporter and then out here. So it can save you a lot of time and get you around. And if your opponent has to make these moves where they can't make the jumps. You're going to be able to get to Omega faster than an opponent who's got to go all the way around. So how do you do strafe running? Well, quite simply, you press forwards and a directional key and you look in the direction you're going. This gains you extra speed because of the way that Zenotic calculates diagonal movement. So we can start off by just jumping over this gap and looking left and then looking right and looking left and looking right as we hold the left and right arrow keys. It's slightly difficult to understand what I'm doing, but if you simply hold forwards and a uh, forwards and a directional key while running around and holding jump you will quickly understand how you can gain speed and if all you can do is this on larger open maps you can gain much more speed than just walking around without jumping even just holding space helps you gain speed so just jumping while you press forwards will gain you extra speed the other trick is a circle jump which is like the strafe but just at the start so you start by looking sort of down and you come back round and up as you press left so i uh i strafe to the left which means that i'm going to press forwards and left and then i'm going to swing round look to the left and i'm going to jump at the end of this platform just like so the best place i find for practicing this trick in zoonotic is to load up the map fuse which is what i'm on now and to use this jump because you can go hup, hup, and over. And it's not too difficult to do, but it does require a little bit of skill. Uh, just jumping over won't help you. You will have to hold jump while you're in the air, though, to make sure that you um, get the double jump off of that bouncer. Otherwise, you're just going to go straight over the edge. And you can make it over here. If you keep your eye on the uh, speed, you'll be able to see how fast you're going. A good way to practice your movement is to go onto very basic running maps in Zenotic Defrag. Although if you're very new to this game, going onto a Defrag server might be quite difficult as most of the maps do require some advanced tricks such as hopping and air turning. A map I can recommend starting with is something like this, Flat Blue. This is a completely flat map with good straightaways and could be voted on most CTS servers. You could also download it to be played offline if you can't get the server to decide to play this map for very long. 
it's a good map with long straightaways, wide corners, and you're able to just start at whatever speed you want to and just gain speed as you can until you're able to complete it very quickly. We'll now talk a little bit about air turning. Air turning is a way that you can make very tight turns at high speed in Xenotic by foregoing your strafe running forwards key and instead just going for the AD style left and right only button. You still do gain speed by doing this, but the main advantage is that you can get round corners much quicker and much tighter. Combining these two with using strafe running onto the straights and then turning with only AD, you can get around very tight corners very quickly in Xenotic. And this can help you outrun your opponents, or if you want to run into them because you're ahead and you've got the armor and ammo, then you're going to want to be able to get round corners and get up little tricky jumps much faster than your opponent. Always feel free to ask for help from the community. Most people around are generally quite nice and will be willing to help you, especially if you head over onto a defrag server, someone might go and spectate you to help what you're doing wrong. Watch better players than you. Put the keybind settings on so that you can see what keys they're pressing, as you can see in the middle of my screen. Make sure that's enabled and just watch what other players are doing. The movement in this game is quite tricky to get you to grips with, but you will get it with enough practice. And just doing certain basic things will help you move around the game a lot quicker. Just like remembering to always jump and learning how to AD turn. Thank you for watching this basic introductional guide. I hope you have a good day and I will see you in the next video.